Table Turf Battles. But what is it? Table Turf Battle is the new game mode found in Splatoon 3 where you use turf board but with cards. So to get there, we're just gonna start by this is the, the lobby, right? You go around this corner over here, you make a left, and then you pretty much talk to this person that looks like a Karen. <laughs> Or like go fish. So the winning condition is to get more of your color on the board as much as possible. The area on the board is covered with each square representing a unit that could be painted on and there's various types of boards. So when you do have your deck of cards, you can access it by hitting the menu and then going to status, turf battle, card list. And here you can actually edit your deck or go to the card exchange. We'll go to the edit deck first. You pick a deck which you want to edit to have so many slots. Then you can either edit, change your name, change to the color of your sleeves. You can copy and delete as well, but we're going to go into the edit here. You can cut from the deck, switch positions, and as well as test the placements. Um, so that's where that is. You can save and don't save to you. So we get back over here, there is the card pick exchange where you can exchange for new cards and even upgrade cards. Um, so in order to get these card bits, you actually need to get duplicates um, from like card packs that you get from either the Gachapon or when you level up from one of these milestones, like when you level up when doing these battles. Uh, the, some of them will give you card packs and as well as catalog rewards will also give you card packs. Uh, so most of the, these can you get new cards and as well you can actually get upgrades So if you have the card already you can upgrade it, it will look like slightly nicer like this one You notice how it became from uh, No color paint in the background to more paint and become holographic too Some of them do increase the abilities, but like most of the time is cosmetics. So let's look at the cards. There are three rarities um, First is common and then we have rare and then we have fresh which is like the highest one with like a rainbow color and you notice that the, the art on there and then there is a name of course the art right now is a silhouette because i don't own it but if you do own it you actually get to see it and then on the bottom right is the pattern that when you actually place it on the board that's what it's going to look like and then on the bottom left is the number of ink spaces that that pattern takes over and that number is actually important that i'll go over later and then on the bottom of the card like right over there in the middle area you see these dark orange squares that is used for a special tag which i will also go over later all right so let's start the game here you get four cards you can actually get to redraw and if you do redraw it just select a new four and that's it you're going to mulligan once so i'm just going to keep this hand it's pretty good because i want to just extend and just block them off so the game lasts for 12 turns, right? There's 15 cards in the deck. So pretty much you're going to go through all the cards in your deck by the end of the game since your hand size is four. So during your turn, you can either pass or you can play a card. And every time you either pass or play a card, um, you draw a new card to replace it. Like so. Right? And then the points is tally tallied over there. <laughs> So, um, the way it kind of works is you kind of solve it right there. You, you can only place adjacent to one of your spots. Um, it could be up, it could be left or below, right? Uh, like below it, or you can put it to the right of it. Uh, you can even do diagonally, like here, right? I'm not actually uh, up, down, left, right on it, but I'm still adjacent touching it from the corner. So that also works and it works on either side like here like here uh etc let me see if i can get a nice uh, i can't but you get you get the idea let me just place that there so the way that it works is that if you you and your opponent place at the same time and if let's say you somehow overlap right like I, I decide to place it here and if they place it here let's see what happens boom right and whoever has the lower number right the low number actually wins not the highest number the lowest number so that's why it's not always good to play like a high number card all the time because then you want to be able to just like win over their spots 
And of course, I want to block them off. So we can continue with that. And then you notice on the bottom of these cards, you notice there's these three orange spots that I mentioned before, right? This is the cost of it, the special spot. So you notice each one also, the pattern itself also has an orange spot. So um, you need at least like how many that has in order to place it. So let's see if I can get one here. Uh, it might take a bit. <laughs> so in order to actually get one, you would actually need to surround that one block with with paint all over. It doesn't matter if it's the opponent's color or your color. So as long as you surround it completely up, down, left, right, and the diagonals, you notice it'll light up. And that means I have one point now. Uh, I don't have any card to actually cost one point, but you kind of get the picture there. Uh, let's see if I can... Oh, this is going to be rough. I want to see if I can get more. Um, but yeah, so that one costs two. The one I just placed costs two to do a special attack. This one costs three. This one costs four. This one costs five. I'm gonna try to block them off here. And doing a special attack is like the only way to actually... Uh, let me see if I can do a special attack. Nice, I got three right there. All right, I'll show you a special attack. So the special attack is the only way that you can actually replace over... You turn it on by pressing that button. And that's the only way you can replace an opponent after they place it. Like, they could do the same thing to you. But the, the, the only side to this is that you have to place it next to one of your uh, special tiles, right? So you notice how it's next to one of the orange ones. Um... I don't know why I can't play it here, but this one will work as long as it's near one of these special blocks that you own, right? As long as it's adjacent. And of course, I guess you can't block their special block. So you can't block their special block, but um, you can put it even on their spot as long as it doesn't block your block, any special block of yours or theirs, and it has to be adjacent to one of yours. Boom, special attack, and I took that and I got points for that too and I got a special point on it nice so you can unlock more opponents by actually playing more and then I believe if you want to get a higher level on that opponent you actually gotta beat them three times and you unlock like the level two and then if you beat the level two of that one you get the level three of that you know they did a special on me too I'm still winning though but a good strategy is to wall them off. Now, now you notice that unless they use a special attack, they actually cannot win, right? They can't get through my my lines. So they're kind of like walled off and I got some spaces I can still place things. So that's really a good strategy, right? And then if you can somehow, like how I squeezed in right there on the top area right there, if you can somehow squeeze through the defense by like putting a lower number maybe and then you put at the same time you can squeeze into their defense and then you can branch off from there because then now your your arms are kind of further out right so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found this helpful feel free to check out my matches that i'll probably post it somewhere or in the description i don't know and check out my other splatoon videos yeah with that later days